Do not worry, you were not confused of video. My name is Gaston, I am from Channel Proyectos LED, and this is a super special video, collaborative with Amplitos, it's the my design, that he masterfully led to life. I'll leave my video here, on the cards, where we tested on the proto board. Now I leave with full the practical part, and the final assembly of this VU meter, with built in microphone. Many thanks Gaston. Howdy friends. Excellent VU meter of PROJ Ectos LED. I did basically a development. From a PCB to my style, and fit it this way. To give you a practical application. For example, to use as decorative in video jukeboxes. This is already in everyone. Let's continue with the assembly. Construya. Construya. Su video rocola. rocola. VU meter activated by microphone. Next you will watch how to build a very striking VU meter, which can use as decorative. Materials. Printed circuits boards. The first PCB is the controller card, and the second PCB is the LED panel. You can learn them to do, with the help of our tutorials. An integrated circuit LM3915, with its base of 18 pins. A regulator LM7805. A transistor BC548. A diode 1N4007. A fast switching diode 1N5819, or 1N4148. An electric microphone. A 1K rheostat. 3 0.47 microfarad capacitors. A 0.33 microfarad capacitor. A 0.1 microfarads capacitor. Two 10K resistors. Three 100K resistors. A 1.8K resistor. Two 2.5 mm 3 pin Molex connectors. A 2.5 mm 2 pin Molex connector. A jumper used on the computer's motherboard. 30 LEDs of 5 or 10 millimeters. In this case, we use 15 green LEDs, 9 yellow LEDs, and 6 red LEDs. A plastic box 17 centimeters long, 7 centimeters high, and 3.5 centimeters thick, also with its respective cover. If you do not get it, you can do it with the molds that we provide in the PDF file. A piece of transparent acrylic hammered, from 16 by June 3rd centimeters. A piece of red and black polarized cable, from 12 centimeters long. And a piece of ribbon cable of 12 colors threads, from 10 centimeters long. Tools. Welding of tin. A 30 watts soldering iron. Scalpel. Thin tip tweezers. Hand drill with a 4 mm drill bit. Silicone gun with its bar. Wire stripper. Scissors. Thinner. Toothbrush. Wire cutter, if not, can use a nail clipper. And white paint with a thin brush. Assemble. We will begin by place all the resistors. We take a resistor. Bend the terminals and it is placed in its respective place in the card. We do the same with the other five resistors. Check their value very well, before placing them. It is very important to know how to read the resistors color code. So that the resistors do not leave their place, they bend their terminals slightly outwards. And proceed to weld all the resistors. Remember that the correct way to weld, is done, joining welding, soldering iron and piece to weld, at the same time. Cut all the terminals excess, with the aid of the nail clippers. Now place the 1N4007 diode and the 1N5819 diode. Bend the diode terminals. 
and place it in the PCB. Keep in mind the direction shown in the component mask. Do the same with the other diode, bend its terminals, and place it in its respective place, check carefully. Separate the terminals so that they do not come out when turning the PCB. Proceed to weld. The welds should be round and shiny. And cut the excess of the terminals. Now place the integrated circuit base, respecting the direction shown in the component mask. And weld it. Be very careful not to join the points with excess welding. Now proceed to place the three capacitors of 0.47 microfarads. They stand straight and slightly raised of the PCB surface. Continue with the 0.33 microfarad capacitor. To finish installing the capacitors, place the 0.1 microfarads capacitor. Proceed to weld all capacitors. Next, place the BC548 transistor. You must keep in mind the position shown in the component mask. And weld them. Now come to place the 1K rheostat. It is placed in its place. And weld it. Continue with the connector that holds the jumper. Place it in their respective place. Place the jumper. And weld the connector. Now place the microphone and the power input connectors. Remove the center pin of the male connector. Place the connector that allows to connect the microphone away from the PCB. And the power input connector. We welded. Next, place the LM7805 regulator. It must be placed in the correct position. We weld it. And cut the excess of the terminals. To complete assembly of the controller card, place the LM3915 IC. It must be positioned in the correct direction. We have the card that controls the LEDs ready. Now have to assemble the LED panel. Each LED is placed in its place, respecting its polarity. In case an LED is inverted, it will not turn on the entire row. The color distribution is made to taste, as is the size of the LEDs. You can use LEDs of 5 or 10 millimeters, as long as they do not exceed the consumption of 30 milliamps. Weld all the LEDs. The welds must be of good quality. With the aid of the nail clippers, cut all the excess of the terminals of the LEDs. Now, take the colored cable ribbon, and with the aid of the scalpel, separates each cable. 
We must be careful not to cut the plastic covering the wires. Make a straight cut, so that the tip cables are straight. And with wire stripper, removes about 2 millimeters of insulated from each of the cables. Proceed to weld the tip of each cable. Must use the minimum of welding. Now, introduce each cable into each hole in the LED panel. And weld each wire. Remember to make good welds, and avoid union the one point with the other point. Next, wet the toothbrush with thinner. And wash the cart very well, on the side of the tracks. This is done to remove the grease and any particles of dirt and solder that may have remained. Dry the cart with a piece of toilet paper. And finish cleaning with a dry brush. The cart should be perfectly clean and shiny. Do the same with the controller cart. A good cleaning ensure the smooth operation of circuit. Now measure the LED panel in the box, and we calculate where the hole through which the cables will go. Make two perforations at the top of the box. And with the scalpel, cut from a hole to the other hole, until get to the other side of the plastic. Check that the card fits snugly when pulling the cables through the hole. In order to take full advantage of the light emitted by the LEDs, must paint the edges of the interior of the box. This helps to reflect the light emitted by the LEDs towards the front of the box. Can use white or silver paint. After the paint has dried, introduce the LED panel into the box. Separate the wires from the other end of the ribbon. With scissors, the cables are paired. Remove 2 millimeters of plastic from each wire. And apply weld to the cable's tips, taking into account not exaggerate the amount of welding. Each wire is inserted into each hole in the controller card. must be maintained the same order that comes from the LED panel. They are welded one by one, wires to the controller card. Make good welds. Having everything properly welded, apply hot silicone at the cable's junction with the card. This is done to avoid future fractures in the joints. Now, apply hot silicone to the back of the box. And paste the controller card, keeping in mind that it is well centered.
Can use hot silicone to secure the LED panel. Apply small dots. Next, place the microphone. To do this, take the red and black polarized cable and separate both wires. Feel the tips about 2 millimeters. Welding is applied on both tip ends. Check the positive pole. And what is the negative pole of the electric microphone? Weld the cables, keep in mind the polarity. Also separate the tips at the other end of the cable. Remove 2 millimeters of insulation. And welding is applied. Apply welding on the metallic nails of the female terminals. And we weld the nails with the wires. We do this in this way, thinking of people who do not have a crimping tool. Close the fins of the terminal, pressing on the wires. Insert the metal nails into the female terminal. The female connector connects to the male connector, where the microphone goes, on the cart. Hold the microphone to the box, using hot silicone. The microphone should look face, the front of the box. Feed the VU meter with a 12 volt DC, and at least 1 ampere. One, two, three, four. Testing our VU meter with microphone. All right. It works perfect. Now let's put the lid on. Open four holes, one at each end of the lid. Carefully cut through the inside edge of the lid, aside from the bezel. The scalpel should be slid many times, until it passes to the other side. Sometimes it is necessary to grate with the scalpel, over the other side of the lid. We already have a frame ready made from the lid of the box. Put the transparent acrylic to the edge of the mouth of the box. And place the frame, to give the final finish. Good friends. We already have our VU meter ready. As you can see, they can do it with LEDs of 5 mm or with LEDs of 10 mm. It depends on your taste. The colors can also choose you, those that you consider. We hope this project will be of great use to all of you. Remember to also visit the Proyecto's LED channel. Greetings to all.